Hello everyone and welcome to my page. Uh, today on real life issue, I want to continue on the topic marriage influencers. So the last time I spoke about the negative marriage influencers and today I want to continue on the positive marriage influencers. So for every bad thing, there is an equal positive reaction. So today, I will be listing the positive things or the things that influences marriages in our world today. So one of those things that we have, like I said before, this topic was actually, actually inspired by ROCCG Sunday School for last Sunday, 7th of May, 2023. So we'll continue on that note. One of the positive marriage influencer is that as couples you have to have trust for each other a marriage where there is no trust that marriage will not last so for your marriage to work you have your the couples need to have trust for each other yes you need to trust each other and another marriage uh, influencer is that there must be selflessness there must be selflessness, yes. So everything should not be all about me, 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 me. That's why I said the other day that if a man has a bad attitude or a woman has a bad attitude and the person keeps saying, oh, this is how I am and the person is not ready to change, there is no way that marriage will work. So for the sake of another, of the other person, you have to try to change. So there must be self selflessness. The man must be able to put the wife first and the wife must be able to put the husband first for every marriage to work another point or factor or element that influences marriage positively is that there must be the bible says that a house that pray, a family that prays together stays together for those of us that are christians that we are married for your marriage to succeed husband and wife need to learn to pray together do you know why you need to pray together when you come together and you pray God is involved. When you get angry with each other, you quarrel, there is no way if you're a good Christian that you want to come together to pray that you will not forgive each other first. So what that means is that the anger, the quarrel will not be prolonged because at the end of the day, you guys will still come together to pray. Another thing that influences marriage positively is that you must learn to spend quality time together. For women, women love to spend time with their husbands. So, for men that likes to hang out with the boys, after you have done that, you must always learn to consider that, oh, madame is at home, and come home and spend time with your wife. Don't let work come in between you guys. Learn to spend quality time together. Go out together, go to fun places. The thing that you used to do, the fun places that you used to go when you were courting, now that you are married, don't neglect those things. Continue to do those things because it is those things that will spice up the marriage. So another point that I want to mention or factor that influences, that is a influencer to marriage is that the couple must be able to find family and work balance. You do not put your work first before your marriage. You do not put your work first before your family. As a man, as a wife, as a career person, you must learn to find work balance. Learn to find work balance. There should be a boundary between work and then the family. There are some people that will work and work and work and work in the office. They will form busy all through the day. They will still come home and continue that work. No, you should know that when you come home, it is time to spend time with your spouse or spend time with your family. So, for marriage to work, you must learn to find work balance. So another thing that influences marriage positively is that couple must learn to speak uplifting words to each other. There are a lot of marriages where husband and wife insult each other and, 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 and embarrass and disgrace each other outside. No, for your marriage to work, husband and wife, your spouses must learn to speak 
a defined ways, ways that lift and will lift the spirit of an, of the other to each other. It is not when your wife is angry, or your husband is angry. That is not the time to begin to speak despicable things. Speak words that will influence that person positively, that will lift the spirit of that person. When your husband is down, when your wife is down, speak things to that person, words to that person that will lift the spirit of that person. It goes a long way to affect the marriage positively. Most important thing that I want to mention is that do not nag. That is another thing that can influence marriage positively. When a woman does not nag, when a man does not nag, it helps the marriage. It helps the marriage. So if you have the habit of always nagging as a man or as a woman, please, if you continue in that path, your marriage might be leading to doom. Learn this today and try to work on yourself. Put an end to nagging. Another thing that I want to mention is that you must have to learn or never go to bed angry. The Bible says, do, be angry but do not sin and do not let the sun go down on your anger. It is not a bad thing to be angry but do not let the sun go down on your anger. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have been blessed by it. Please share it so that many people can also learn from it. Drop your comment in the comment section. Like this video. Follow me and I promise to follow back. God bless you. And have a nice day.